For a seated calf raise, make sure you're seated in a position that will hopefully have your knees at about 90 degrees, so a pretty low lying chair will be good. Um, feet will be flat on the floor, and if you want to do both feet at the same time, that will work just fine. Um, from here, we're trying to work on lifting the heels, pointing the toes, and contracting the calves as hard as we can. Um, so we are not just passively just lifting the feet up and down. Instead, nice and controlled, squeezing those calves, squeezing the soleus, lowering the heel back down, and taking extra special care to go really slow on the descension of the heels, especially if you have any kind of tendon issue like Achilles tendinopathy or plantar fasciitis. Um, once you get really, really good at this, you can add something else to it, like a band um, or a weight on your lap. But just work nice and slow through these repetitions, making sure you get a feel for how to contract your um, calves, and then also that you're rolling between the first two toes of the foot to make sure the calves contract correctly. Once again, after you get good at this one, go ahead and add on some weight or work into um, standing bodyweight calf raises.